Yeah, how you people doing today? Uh, just a short story for you guys out there um, before I head to the office. So, I'm sitting at my grandmother's house where she holds this leather fetish party once a year in the summer, uh, beginning of June. Okay? So, I'm sitting there observing, you know, and I get intrigued by this because I, I think it's funny seeing people walking around from head to toe dressed in leather who have a fetish for leather. Okay, it's, it's, it's pretty funny to me. Old people too at that, okay? So as I'm sitting there eating a bowl of my favorite squash and ginger soup, I realize that there's this lady sitting across the way from me dressed in leather from head to toe who's as hideous as Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Okay, except she has this mole on the tip of her nose. Okay, um, identical to shit. Looks like it looks like she's buried her nose in in someone's ass, and enjoys the smell of it. But anyways, as I'm sitting there enjoying this bowl of soup that I truly love, I hear and I feel a backdoor breeze, also known as a turd whistle, approach me approach me from across the room, from the dark side of the room. I look up and I notice a air bubble slowly creeping down the side of this behemoth's fat cheesy ass. You know, trying to escape. You know, I think nothing of it, okay? So next thing I realize is that her boot comes flying my way. Okay, as I go to dodge this thing, it crashes into my bowl of soup. Just as I'm trying to indulge the most exquisite bite of this soup. Okay, so as it crashes into the bowl, it causes a miniature tsunami of soup and shit flakes to come splashing, meeting head on with my face and my shirt. Okay. I have a white tee on too at this party. Um, you know, I didn't go with no leather. I just, I just like to go and, uh, you know, see what's going on, uh, laugh at the old people, you know, hear their stories from back in the day, because they got some pretty good stories. But anyways, as, uh, as, as the soup crashes into my face, you know, I wipe it off with, a, with a rag. I go get a rag. I wipe it off, you know thinking that this lady has no decency whatsoever, okay? I'm disgusted, I don't know what to do, I'm, I'm, my mind's boggled. So just as I'm thinking this broad has no decency and she's, she's crazy, she comes, she comes up to me, huh, and believe this, she grabs her, her boot out of my bowl of soup, empties it out, you know, flips it upside down, and you can just see uh, the discolored soup. You know, it goes from a nice yellow-orange to shit brown mixed with orange a little bit. And uh, she dumps it out, puts the boot back on, huh, and wouldn't you believe this broad says, excuse me? I said, I'll be a son of a bitch. I got up, I told my grandmother I loved her, and I said, I'll see you at the next one. Thank you for listening to the story. This is the Gooch here, and I'm out. Take care.